एवरीवन नमस्ते एंड सलाम वालेकुम पीपल हाय दिस इज मारिया खान योर मास्टर टीचर ऑफ बायोलॉजी हियर एट वेदांतु गाइस वेलकम टू द सेशन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ कंप्लीट मास्टर प्लान फॉर आवर क्लास 10 बायोलॉजी आई अज्यूम दैट मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव कंप्लीटेड योर ग्रेड 9 एंड देन यू आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड फॉर योर ग्रेड 10 एंड यू मस्ट बी वेरी एंथुसियास्टिक चार्ज्ड अप सुपर एक्साइटेड फॉर योर ग्रेड 10 एंड everyone must be thinking ki i have to kick start this academic year on a very high note how do i go about it attend my today's session right till the end stay with me like share subscribe post me a yo my you ami and chalo without wasting any further time let's quickly get started so first thing first if you want to ace in biology you have to begin with basics Now, basics of every concept you would have studied in your lower classes. Yes or no? Yes. So the first step is brush all the concepts that are linked to your current curriculum. For example, uh, there's a chapter how do organisms reproduce. Now this is directly linked to your grade eight's chapter, reaching adolescence and this reproduction. I I don't remember the chapter name because I have never taught to grade eight. but yes i have already seen those chapters somewhere to so brush go through those chapters read it once okay give it a read so that helps to recollect all the information that you have already read it makes it very easy for you to understand and correlate with the upcoming concepts okay so first brush up whatever you have already studied then the second tip prepare your plan now what should be your ideal plan your ideal plan should be for every day what are you going to study now every day you should study a combination of two to three subjects or maybe one day one subject and many people complain ki ma'am bakwas hai ye when i create a timetable though i create it i am not able to stick to it because you are not designing your timetable in the ideal way your time table should always have some buffer slots or buffer sessions or maybe a cheat day if you ask me six subjects physics chem bio english maths ss now english may alternate with any other subject like language english or hindi english or sanskrit likewise okay so six days six subject seventh day sunday is absolutely a cheat day now why i call it as a cheat day no let's assume saturday is my birthday or it's saturday party time i am roaming hanging around with my friends or partying with my family sunday i'll cover that up okay for example physics chem bio english maths and ss suppose i skipped ss on saturday i'll cover ss on sunday i'll compensate for the time which i utilized for any other purpose so if your time table has that kind of accommodation you will never be able to uh, uh what i can say you can never be able to uh, not follow your time table you will definitely definitely 100% be able to abide to your time table okay so prepare your plan ekdam full proof master plan then attack chapters term wise okay so if at all you are aware ठीक है इन द प्रीवियस एकेडमिक ईयर बिकॉज यू विल बी गिविंग यू एग्जामिनेशन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री सो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू बट टू टर्म्स है ना सो टर्म टू इज येट टू हैपन बट येस द सिलेबस वॉज डिड इन टू टू टर्म्स सो आई विल से कि चेक विच वेर द चैप्टर्स फॉर टर्म वन विच वेर द चैप्टर्स फॉर टर्म टू ठीक है ऑल्सो चेक आउट फॉर द ओमिटेड chapters okay now as of now you only focus on term 1 theek hai you only focus on the current syllabus because if in the academic year 2021 22 this chapters were included for the examination and assessment you too will have those chapters right once you are done with that you jump on to the chapters which are a part of term to syllabus short short chapters because even they will be a part of your final examination now once that is done 
and still there is no clarity about the syllabus for your academic year then you can go and start studying the omitted chapters why i say so because uh, probably somewhere around the month of september they uh, announce that which will be the chapters and which will be the chapters in your syllabus and which are the omitted chapters so i don't want you to invest your time and energy on such chapters which are dicey theek hai to jo 100% aane wala hai na first target those that to term wise first cover up term one syllabus then jump on to term two because you never know you will have a term wise examination or maybe a one examination finally at the end of the academic year in either of the case this strategy will work for you okay then you should study the chapter in a proper manner and for that you should already decide a few ki maine kaise padhna chahiye first you start with first things first that's the textbook ncert geeta bible quran read it then you get a get an idea what is there in the textbook what is not there in the textbook what kind of questions can be expected and what is like can be ignored theek hai so read your textbook cover all the textual questions and when i say textual questions there are two kinds in text questions which are followed after every small paragraph and then the text back questions which are followed after the end of every chapter so cover textual questions practice all the mcqs now you get so many resources especially during this pandemic there are so many pdfs floating over the internet at least i have a dozen full of them so gyan charo aur bat raha hai bator lo so as many mcqs as you can even vedantu live sessions has so many mcqs like if i talk about biology every session has at least 8 at least 8 mcqs practice as many as you can for your information academic year 2021 22 had two terms term 1 was absolutely objective so first practice all the objective questions na huh? once that's done then solve the subjective questions term 2 is totally subjective you never know what is going to be your fit right because you are just stepping into a new academic year so yeah so all the subjective questions and now additional tips on my behalf okay so if i write it as if i write it this way and if i write it which is the handwriting that you would prefer you will say of course ma'am the first one is much better right now your writing skills your handwriting your paper presentation everything matters a lot and room was not built in one day so paper presentation is a skill it's an art so the skills cannot be developed in 24 hours so my dear child you have to start working towards it right since day 1 so whenever you are writing your answers ensure that you are writing in points whenever you are writing an answer ensure that you draw a diagram well labeled diagram or maybe a schematic representation or maybe you support your answer with the help of a flow chart or an example something something to enrich your answer okay supplementing your answer with something is like a bonus not everyone does it and when you do it you definitely are rewarded with scores additional points so writing skills uh how to write a two marker how to write a three marker how to write a four marker when to draw a diagram all these things you have to keep in mind how to draw a diagram where to draw right side left side center how big it should be where should be the labels where should be the title where should be the arrows pointing everything everything is actually playing a significant role in your overall paper presentation skills and that will also contribute a lot in defining your overall score so yes additional tip is focus on your paper presentation skills okay and here when i say paper presentation skills it also includes highlighting by the way not with a hi- highlighter of course with a pencil okay then solve pyqs it is very very crucial guys many a times the questions are based on the same concepts if they are not the same copy pasted 
but uh, the language is modified they're slightly twisted or the case is little bit screwed but uh, yes it's from the same concept so you understand you come to know when you brush through all the five six previous year question papers you come to know ki is chapter me so this is the topic which i have to pay close attention to this is the topic like chiller i can ignore okay nothing to ignore by the way but yes solving previous year question papers it's a smart way to study okay and uh, then ma'am how much practice is enough i'll say more the merrier so jitna bhi practice karoge utna kam hi hai so once you are done with ncert once you are done with all the mcqs that are available handy i will say if you are a vedan if you have already enrolled with vedan to refer tatwa very important okay like i have never come across any good book in comparison to tatwa feel it i am not just saying it on record because i am a vedant but yes i feel it through my heart ki yes book ho to aise so refer that and uh, ncert ncert exemplar bhai bhai some challenging questions are there hai na high order thinking skill type of questions are there so so ncert and i hope you follow all these steps these many tips right at the start of the academic year are good to go stay in touch with me uh you can reach out to me okay with the help of my email id that is uh, maria.khanatvedantu.com and uh, you can also reach out to me via the comment section and you can enroll with vedantu the link to enrollment is given in the description box use my coupon code that is makpro to avail additional discount and that's it for the day guys let's meet in the next session till then allah hafiz milo hafiz and keep watching vedantu like share subscribe if you enjoyed the session tada